I heard it was good through the grapevine. I heard that you got a great mind. I don't think that we need to win. I did what they couldn't do. Guess that's why they mad at me. But what's up with your vibe, dog? Why she keep on adding me? Hey world, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Deja Main. If you're new, say hey because hey, why not? But as y'all guys see by the title, we will be doing a closure replacement. Now, this company, we're not even gonna get on it. Just know they sent me a T bar wig and it was supposed to be a closure wig. So now I gotta take the extra initiative to do what I gotta do. And I might as well teach y'all too. Because if it happened to me, it can happen to you. Period. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Because, and we, y'all see them strings right there? Just make sure y'all cut them off because we not about to sit here and watch me cut this whole thing off. No, ma'am. Okay, so yeah, just make sure y'all cut along the whole closure. Only those strings. Alright, lady and gents, you guys should have something like this. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you get your new closure. Well, my closure is not new, new, it's old, but we about to put a new one on it. T part wig that they had finessed me out. We're not going to speak about that, but it's okay. And you just want to make sure you paint everything and line everything up to make sure it's not gonna move and it'll stay in place. And I'm just showing y'all what y'all want to sew on. You want to sew across that black part right there. And you want that, like, white thick part that's right around the closure. You want that to sit on that brown part of the cap. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But, yeah, just do what I do. And this is just a closure replacement. This is if you need to replace a T-part closure. A regular closure because y'all need to stop throwing away them wigs like the bundles in the back be good and the closure or the front will be bad and all we gotta do is this baby so show this to your stylist show it to whoever's doing your hair if you're doing your hair I'm happy you stumbled upon this video but definitely do something like this and I had to go get me a clip because you do not want to get this hair tangled up in the closure and the mother loving thread. Or it's going to be a hassle to so make sure you get you some clips to clip the hair out of your way. And I didn't tie my needle so that's what I'm about to do. And then when I'm like putting the uh, needle through the track, I mean through the cap and then on the closure it's you you perform a loop and i put the needle through the loop and i pull it to where it can make like a certain stitch effect and it won't just be like i just kept pulling the thread through the uh through the closure and the cap i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and watch a couple more times then i'm gonna speed it up for y'all You take me on the regular Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See all I want.
And I'm going to zoom in for y'all so y'all can see what I mean. Y'all see how it's like well put together. Like that baby is not going to move. I'm sorry I keep messing with my light settings. It just look weird on my camera. But it really was perfectly fine now that I'm watching it. But yeah. And in the beginning y'all see me go like up under. But I liked it better going over top if that makes sense. But yeah, we was not about to watch, sit here and watch me sew this whole clothing around at all. And y'all see how I put it through there and it created like this little loop to where the closure will not move. Like, I feel like when you just do a loop and you just keep putting the, uh, the needle through the hair and you just keep going and keep going, I feel like that doesn't really secure your hair and you want to stitch closely together not far apart And also, I stitched one side, and then I went to the other side, and I stitched that side, and then I stitched the back. And I just did that because I felt like, it's not like it being on somebody's head, or they can hold it in place. So, yeah. That's how I did it. And it came out perfectly fine. I'll show you guys what it looked like. Okay, so I was going to go ahead and, uh, you know, just start styling my mom's wig. But um, I was looking at it and the hair and the like with the wig was black and then the closure was like a natural brown. So I'm like, scratch this. We got to go ahead and... Um, we gotta go ahead and watercolor this front, I mean, this closure, because it's not gonna look right. So, I'm gonna stop this, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to watercolor this hair. I was gonna stop the video, like, right after I showed you guys how to do the closure, but I'm like, no. Let me, um, show them how I do my watercolor method. And what you want to do is you want to take you some thick conditioner and like apply it like you would if you were applying your bleach. Just make sure the knots are covered so they don't color black again because they have already been um, bleached already. Because like I said, this was an old closure. I just used it to put it on a wig because baby... Honey, I was not installing no too far wig. But, yep. So, y'all can go ahead and watch me do this. Make sure you use some thick conditioner and slap that shit on there like you would with your bleach. Alright guys, and that is really it for the rest of this video. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.